In this video we're going to remove the screws from the back panel of our 244. Here is our 244. The knobs and so on are raised. We don't want to damage those. So when we're turning it over we want to be doing that onto pillows or cushions. I mean because I do this so often I've got this big lump of foam that I always have set up in the workshop desk. So I can just turn it right over like that. But you want to be doing that on cushions. So we've got two screws back here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These two are of a different sort. You're going to use the same screwdriver for all of them. And this is, I mean, that's going to be out of focus because I'm in manual focus, but this is Phillips size two. If you get a kind of really basic tool set for the around the house, you know, tightening up doors, assembling shelves, it'll be this size difference between the two types of screw although they look the same these two they're going into plastic whereas the other eight are screwed into the metal chassis so the ones that are the eight that are screwed into the metal chassis uh the oh man the, the correct term eludes me but the uh the little grooves i'm gonna hazard ferrule are closer together and they're wider apart for these anyway because there's two types, and because you're going to screw up your 244 if you put them in the wrong way, um, you want to get yourself... I mean, I've got these little boxes to keep components separate, but, you know, you could use jars, you could use ice cream containers, and you could use little freezer bags to keep them separate. You could get a permanent marker and put rear, R for rear, O for other. Mm. But anyway, just remind yourself that when you put these screws back in, these eight and these two are of a different kind. Um, I'm going to unscrew these now and then in the magic of post-production, I'm going to fast forward this. <laughs> There's the two kinds of screw. This one's got the wider grooves, it's going into plastic, and this one's going into metal. If I remove this, you can see that those eight were all going into holes like this in the metal chassis to which the components and the plastic casing are attached. Whereas there's these little plastic blocks behind the VUs where the wider are screwed into. Here we can see our transport tucked in here um, briefly. I mean, I'll do a kind of anatomy of the insides another time. Um, that's your DBX, um, your mixer modules are here. This is the record and playback amplifier. This is the control circuits. That's the tape cue, um, the power and the metering. And that's your transformer. I'll be showing you things at some point in this channel where you do actually have this turned on with this open. Don't put your fingers in on that switch or, you know, take a, a pickaxe to the transformer. But basically, once the electricity gets this size of the transformer, it's pretty low currents, pretty low voltages. Um, most of this stuff you can touch while it's on, but just stay the hell away from... I mean, it's tucked in there, so you're not really going to do it unless you have a screwdriver with no rubber handle and start jamming it in there. I really wouldn't recommend that. But yeah, at this point, if you short over the um, the two power cables and that switch, that's you connected to mains. Oof. But generally speaking, you can kind of touch in here, unplug that if you don't feel safe. You can kind of leave the back case up like that while you're working or you can string that through. Then your bottom case comes off altogether. <laughs> 